Good evening, guys. My name is Brett Thomas Thomas. I am here with CCP Aurora, and we are watching. We are looking at the initiative in red versus Weform Volta in brew. Weform Volta have brought double Leshak, Navy Megathron, Pontifex Pontifex, Vexa Vexa, Deacon, and Crucifier. CCP Aurora, what have the in it brought? The initiative brought. The initiative have brought a triple Scorpion setup. Uh, this is definitely they are to be cruise fit they're definitely going to want to keep their range that's why you can see that they've all warped in at 50 and as the match starts here we will probably see them try to pull a uh, distance on those lash acts they need to try to mitigate as much damage from those lash acts and keep that navy mega off them as they can in order to apply enough damage over time with those cruise missiles to hopefully break something it's going to be very difficult shooting cruise into armor however uh, because it's not a great resistance type matchup and those deacons are going to be able to get reps off pretty well this could be a rough match for the initiative, even with those Cambians on their side. I think their ability to control the field and peel tackle effectively is going to be what really determines the way this match will go. Yeah, we're seeing damage being applied to TikTok targets in the Navy Mega. We're seeing the Deacons keeping him wrapped up, and we're also seeing Guidance Disruptions going onto the Navy Scorpion of the Paradine, which means something in that comp, probably the Vexes, I believe. Oh, no, wait, it's the Crucifier. The Crucifier has got those missile disruptions on them, and they're just dumping down one of the Navy Scorpions so the cruise missiles do just not apply. That Navy Mega is taking some damage, but it's only... It's... It's only removed the armor or the shield at this point. Uh, it looks like there's no armor damage being applied. Uh, you can see the Deacon reps are on the Navy Mega at the moment, and it's probably got repair drones from those. Uh, yep, there's quite a bit of heavy armor maintenance spots. With this amount of repair on the field, they're just not able to break anything as these Leshak slowly bear down on their opponent. Uh, the initiative is about to start taking a whole lot more damage. Once those Leshak get within occult range, uh, it's going to be a very bad day for those Navy Scorpions. Yeah, we're seeing Newt and a Grapple go onto the Claymore of Ver. I believe possibly he's going to be the focus once they get on top of them while they're just shooting Ace Ripple as they burn in. And we can see these Cambians are kind of cutting around the outside of the fight right now. Uh, they don't seem to be doing a whole lot, so... I'm not sure how effective they're being. The wild card being brought is always a really big deal. Looks like they're swooping into the back line, and we now see uh, they have both tackled the Crucifier, so they're trying to get rid of some of that E-War, which is probably reducing a little bit of that DPS uh, from the Navy Scorp. We can see the uh, missile guidance disruption on uh, the Navy Scorp of Melinda, which has just fallen off as that uh, Crucifier is getting beat up by these uh, the small ships on the initiative side. Uh, however, we also see the Claymore on the initiative side now chunking into armor hull. That Claymore is about to go down. They're about to lose their links, and that with it, a whole bunch of tank and damage on their team. Yeah, we are seeing Newts go out by the two Leshaks onto the two Kirins from the initiative side. I believe that is what is allowing... We form Volta to break through ships. Kirins do really bad with heavy newts on them. So the heavy newts are just stopping these Kirins from being able to rep, and that's how they're breaking through these ships. But we are seeing both of the Cambians and the Raptor just going absolutely ham on the Deacon of Starfleet Commander. He's locked down, he's webbed, and he's just popping up and down in armor as all the damage is on him. And unfortunately, these incredibly valuable Cambians that the initiative has brought are trying to take out the small stuff, the Deacons and the Crucifier, on the Volta side, but they are just not having much effect. They've just, oh, as I say that, we're seeing now one of the Deacons uh, dropping into half armor, but all of a sudden they just popped back up as they caught reps. It looks like the Cambians, uh, for all of the damage that they are able to put out, for as good as they should be at shredding those small ships on the enemy side, they're just not really being effective, and during this little skirmish we're seeing, uh, Ricky Big and the Navy Scorpion is now falling. That's going to be a major hit to the initiative's DPS. Yeah, and that frees up the missile guidance disruptor on the Crucifier to swap onto another Navy Scorpion and lower the amount of damage down. What I'm actually seeing is it's actually on one of the Cambians stopping the Deacons from taking any damage from, I believe they might be light missile or rockets or the two ship types they can fit. So it's just dropping the range down so the Deacons can just outrun any other damage that is being applied. 
And those deacons might be ten and men fit, so they're just going to be able to kind of boat around regardless of those webs and stuff on them. They're just incredibly hard to hit. They don't have the, uh, the sig bloom that you would get from an MWD fit, that sort of thing. Um, and as we see the small skirmish of, of initiative trying to remove Volta's uh, uh, deacons, it's just still not effective. Those deacons are still catching reps. And during this, we see another Navy Scorpion now beginning to enter armor. Uh, this is looking like the end of the line here for the initiative, unfortunately. I can confirm the Cambians are fit with rockets, so the missile, the guidance disruptors are being locked onto the Cambians to just drop the speed of the missiles down. So the 10MN Deacons outrun the missiles from the Cambians and the Cambians apply zero damage to the Deacons. What we're also seeing is it looks like the Leshaks both have a very likely heavy newts fit as well. And so those Leshaks, uh, not only are the uh, Kirins on the initiative side getting newted out, but we're also seeing newts applied to whatever their primary target is, making it very likely that they're not able to run their uh, hardeners um, in order to maintain their health. And it's just not, not a good day for the initiative. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be how the match will go for the rest. We're gonna see another 100 to zero victory for the, uh, the Volta side. And Volta will continue on towards the semifinals. Yeah, we're just seeing them now start to clean up. They're just locking down and applying damage to that last Scorpion. All the Leshax and the Mega Navy are just sitting on top of them, applying all their damage, while a lot of the smaller stuff, which is the drones from the Vexa and the Pontifex, are just breaking down that Raptor. Something to point out, too, is that if you look at the Volta Deacons, you will see just an absolute swarm of heavy repair bots on them. So not only do the Deacons have reps on each other, uh, but they have just an incredible amount of HP coming in towards them from the support fleet, which just has not been dealt with at all by the initiative side. So they had no real ability, it seems, to have cleared those uh, drones off and even with a team on top of them had they had smart bombs or something we didn't see anything along those lines so they just could not deal with the, the sheer amount of reps on the volta side and it has uh, they have paid dearly for it yeah we're now seeing them start to focus on one of the kirins and just break everything down yeah as i say that it just gets deleted off the field the moment it gets slowed down the initiative side is actually pretty new to the tournament scene. I think we, they first came into the limelight a bit in AT16, if I remember correctly, where they had just a really incredible run um, up into the top tier of the tournament. Kind of surprised some people as they've come from behind. It was really great to see them. Uh, and it was good to see them push so far into this tournament as well. I've been constantly impressed by their team. But unfortunately, the Volta side is just one of the best in these events. And they came very well prepared for what the initiative brought to the field. Yeah, we are seeing one of the Pontifexes drop a little bit into the armor, but as we can see, the Deacons have spread reps across their entire... Uh, across their entire team just to swag on everybody with the fancy UI. Those Cambians are pretty tanky, but you can tell just how much Volta didn't really care about them uh, as they've left them for last. Even with all the DPS those Cambians can represent, they are some of the last things to leave the field except that Raptor, which is uh, just kind of off doing his own thing right now. I think, I think that Raptor that wants to run out its own time because it's currently sitting at 93 kilometers, just sitting nice and safe, not taking any damage and trying to stay safe from everything that's on the field. It looks like he's actually somewhat within range. He might have swung by. Uh, he's getting, is that armor rip? Oh no, okay. So that's the crucifier's effect on the Raptor. Uh, he did get into range of that Leshak and he has been nuded out. His MWD is probably shut off at this point and his speed drops to zero as does his health. Well, the last Cambion is finally going down. It's ridiculously tanky. It's just dropping into shields and now dropping through armor and the Deacons are wrapping it to make it last longer. Kind of drag out their moment of glory just, just as much as you can. They have their minutes in the limelight. You get 10 minutes, might as well make as much use of all of them as you can. And with that, we see another 100 to, one, uh, 100 to 0 victory in favor of Volta over the initiative. The initiative are going home, and we are going back to the studio.